Hey G fans, GojiFan93 here, as well as Super Godzilla Gaming, and welcome back to the Godzilla Retrospective. In this episode, we will be looking at some of the more weird and obscure games in Godzilla's history. With that said, let's begin. Let's start with Godzilla and Arcade. This game was developed by Ben Presto, released to Japan Arcades in 1993. This game is your traditional 2D fighting game. I believe that this game didn't do too well because released in the same year was Godzilla Battle Legends, which was a lot faster paced, but that's just my thought. Next we have Godzilla Heart Pounding Monster Island, released in 1995 for the Sega Pico. Citing from Wikizilla's page on this game, it states, The game consists of multiple pages, which act as hub levels. Each page contains multiple kaiju, which can be clicked on and interacted with. This causes some kaiju to perform different animations, while with some kaiju it can activate minigames. The player is in control of Godzilla. Released along with Godzilla 1998, there was an online multiplayer game to tie in with the movie. There isn't much listed about this game, but supposedly it's an online multiplayer survival game that takes place after the events of the movie, where New York has been overrun by baby Godzillas. You as the player would assume the role as a soldier, and it's up to you to stop the baby Godzillas. Not a bad idea, actually. Too bad this game is dead. Oh well. Next we have Godzilla Movie Studio Tour, released in 1998 on PC. I have no experience with the game, but SGG, you made a couple gameplay videos, so what's this game about? Oh sure. Godzilla Movie Studio Tour is an interactive game developed by Premier Systems in 1998. Basically, the game is a database on info from the Godzilla movies. Really, it's just a collection of Godzilla clips and concepts as you go through the tour. You can even print out items in the shop, which doesn't really work anymore, but it's the thought that counts. So it barely counts as a game, which is why it's in this episode. Next is one of the cooler games. Titled the CR Godzilla 3 ST Battle, this game is a pachinko game. What's a pachinko machine? It's a type of mechanical game originating in Japan and is used both as a form of recreational arcade game and much more frequently as a gambling device. This game was one of the first of many Pachinko Godzilla games that we will get to next. This one in particular is notable to mention because it features new Godzilla Tokusatsu film footage since 2004. The game was developed by Nugen and was released in 2006. Here we have another Pachinko Godzilla game. This one is titled Godzilla Patchy Slot Wars, I believe that's how you say it, released in 2007, developed by Sammy as a Patchy Slot unit. This game is similar to the other Pachinko machine games. One more Pachinko game we have for you is CR Godzilla Descent of the Destruction God, released in 2010, developed by Nugen. This was the sequel to the first CR Godzilla game from 2006. Next, we have Godzilla on Monster Island. No, not the movie, The Slot Machine. I have actually had experience playing this at Las Vegas, and it's confusing, but it's still cool to see a Godzilla slot machine in America. Not much else to say on this one. Now, I don't know if this even counts as anything, but thought I'd slip it into this episode. Godzilla Crisis Defense was a game released in 2014 as one of the many movie tie-in games. This game just had you clicking spots on a map and then it would show a clip from the 2014 movie. Nothing too special. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Tune in next week and we will be taking a look at Godzilla Mobile Games. Till then, stay big G fans.